This is a redneck trombone. It's a sound interferometer invented by our lecture demonstrator, James Coburn. What I've got is a signal generator here that's sending a signal to a speaker here. It's just a small speaker. And that speaker sends an 800 hertz sound into this T, and so then the sound splits, comes around, and then combines again, and comes out this cone. And so what happens is, and we're, we're able to actually vary the length of one of these loops in order to vary the, the, the path length difference. So this would be a certain number of wavelengths, uh, the sound going from here all the way around this loop to here. And this may be a different number of wavelengths coming around the other side. So the idea is that if the difference in path lengths between the two paths is an integer multiple of the wavelength, then you get the peaks and valleys coinciding with each other and you get a higher peak and a louder sound and what we call constructive interference. Whereas if, the, if you've moved this enough to, so that this path length is half a wavelength more than this one, then you get uh, destructive interference where the peak of one wave matches the valley of the other and they cancel each other out. So we'll be playing an 800 hertz signal into this speaker. The 800 hertz signal, if you use the formula V uh, equals F lambda, the frequency times the wavelength is the speed of the sound, and solve that for lambda, the wavelength, that's V over F. That'll be 343 meters per second. Uh, the speed of sound in air approximately, depending on temperature, but it's about 343, divided by the 800 hertz signal provided by the signal generator. Multiply, uh, divide those out and you get 0.429 meters or 42, roughly 43 centimeters. So the wavelength that we're talking about here is about from here to here, about 43 centimeters. But as I move this a certain distance, the, the, the path length increases by twice that distance because the sound has to go an extra distance along here and an extra distance along here. So half of this wavelength is 21.4 centimeters. So the theory predicts that if I move this arm 21.4 centimeters, about this distance here, then uh, I should move through a complete cycle going through uh, constructive interference, then destructive interference, then constructive interference again. And I've previously marked points on here that are separated by 21.4 centimeters. This, black, this uh, blue mark here and this blue mark here are separated by 21.4 centimeters. And here's a point halfway in between. Here's another point. Uh, so we're gonna expect constructive interference or a loud sound when, when this mark coincides with the end of this pipe and destructive interference when the circle matches the end of the pipe. So there's the 800 hertz signal. Just adjusting it to make sure it's 800 hertz. There's 800 on the money. So there's a, a soft sound, destructive interference, constructive, destructive, constructive. And that is a demonstration of uh, constructive and destructive interference using a redneck trombone.